Hello YouTube, Zlink here. Did you accidentally pull Albedo during the Bennett banner? Are you, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Why did I pull on his banner? And you want to make him a good support for your kaching? Well, then please observe the following scuffle. Interested? Well, let's get into the showcase. Alright, before I show anything off here, I just want to make a quick disclaimer. In no shape or form I'm saying that this is the best definitive build for Albedo. This build is more suited for those who are like me and like popping supports and letting Kaching have a full 90% of the time. That being said, here are his stats. 1.75k defense. 67.6% crit rate. 202.6% crit damage, and scrolling down here, 75.4% geo damage bonus. Moving on to his weapon, we are running the Harbinger of Dawn, which gives us 46.9% crit damage and 28% crit rate when we are above 90% HP. Moving on to the juicy part where everyone's wondering about, we are running the 4 piece Thunder Super Set on our Abedo. Now you might be asking, why the Thunder Super set? Well, since it blossoms on his E proc after the enemy take damage, you can take advantage of a 35% extra damage bonus if you're running Kaching with an Electro build. Now I know that other artifact sets may be more consistent against all types of enemies, but personally I've been having fun with this set the most, and really in this game, it's not really about the meta, it's more about having fun with whatever team you're running. Let's go into the stats of the artifacts here. Crit damage, circle it with defense substat. Geo damage bonus, gobble it with crit damage, defense percent, crit rate, substats. Hourglass with defense main stat and crit damage substat. Poem with crit damage and crit rate substats. Flower with defense percent and crit rate substats. In terms of constellations, we have none. Talents, I have his talent for his E skill up to level 9 and his Q up to level 6. This was such a huge resource sink. But I have no regrets. I'll also go over my Kaching build really quickly here, since I have gone over it many times in my other videos and during streams. This is her crit rate, crit damage. A black Sword. Artifact set is Thunder Super. Crit rate helmet. Goblet should be Electro Damage. Okay, and then we have zero constellations and level eight normal attacks. Since that we know we're building both Kaching and Albedo with Thunder Suver, I only really have two teams for you here today. So obviously we have Kaching as main DPS, Albedo, as our mandatory support DPS, we have Venti, so he can swirl Electro, and we have our healer, in which I have Chi Chi in this slot. If you don't have Venti, don't worry, I got you. So we have our two mainstays of the team here. We have Fischl, who actually helps us proc Thunder Super's four piece set with Oz, and then we have our healer. Personally, I like running this thing the best because Venti is just overpowered. Uh, every, I think everyone knows at this point, if you don't have Venti, run either Fischl or you can run Sucros. Let's go over some situations where this Kaching and Albedo comp perform well in. This duo performs well against enemies where you can reliably proc Electro and where the enemies are not geo resistant or immune to geo. Electro Slimes are very squishy against this build because they always proc Thunder Super 4 piece due to being innately Electro. With Metatrolls of Shields, you can ride the Blossom to do a punching attack in order to bypass your shields. And most importantly, this build excels in showing you the big numbers. Now let's go into some situations where this build doesn't perform the best at. 
It's going to be weak against any slimes who are not innately electro, since you have to debuff them with electro seven times before they get the electro status on them. This build is also weak against enemies with geo immunity or resistances, since Albedo will not be able to deal his maximum amount of damage. This build is also weak against Electro Sinsen Mages since they have 50% resistance against Electro, meaning that Kachin would be doing neutered damage towards them with her Electro attacks. Another thing to keep in mind is that every time Blossom procs, Crystallize will occur, meaning that you will have to reapply Electro to get the 4-piece Thunder Super Set on both Kachin and Albedo. On the topic of Crystallization, I know you forgot this, but this build is not designed for his Q, since his Q performs crystallize on the electro status enemies therefore taking away the electro status and the fatal blossoms do not benefit from the thunder super in that way unless you're very quick and reapplying electro within the fatal blossom time the only exception to this is electro slimes since they're always electro so his q and his fatal blossoms will benefit from the four piece thunder super set now with the pros and cons out of the way i will display all the damage numbers that i've accumulated for albedo with and without the Electro Proxima screen right now. As you can see, he does about 1k to 2k more damage with the Thunder Super proc compared to without it. But cons even considering that he does less damage, it's still a respectable amount of damage in my opinion. It doesn't dissuade me from playing this build at all. Alright, so here we are at our Regis line. I have Barbara and Sucrose on my team. None of them have throwing tails of dragon slayers. Sucrose is here to swirl away the hydro that Barbara inflicts. Alright, let's break the koala or whatever you want to call it. Swirl. Alright, you gotta make sure to put the Beto thing far away from him or else it disappears for some reason. Alright, can we one cycle this? Just barely with that last Albedo proc. Yup, yup, and you see how we did that technique there? We place Kaching's E, place on his Blossom, then press Kaching's E again, and then we go ham with Electro proc. I hope you all enjoyed this team build with Kaching and Albedo. I know it's not the best build for Albedo, but since this is more of a Kaching eccentric channel, I had to make Albedo work with Kaching, even if it meant neutering his damage to fulfill a very niche build. And honestly, I am very satisfied with the damage results. Let me know what you think of this team comp in the comments below, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more content, and also check out my Twitch where I'll be streaming this game daily. That's all for me from now, I'll see you either in stream or on my next video. Thank you for watching.